Hmm, who put those white paws under the door belong to? Uh, Jimmy, is, is that you? Is that you underneath there? That's my other foster Gordy. Like Jimmy, he doesn't like it when I'm away from him for too long. handsome. Oh, Mr. Jeeves. Yes. I love you too. Yes, I do. My bathroom buddy. Whenever I walk in now, I really actually get hisses now. <laughs> he does like to give little love bites, but it's definitely a, for a, an affection type thing. Because then he, he wants me to continue patting him. First I thought maybe it was overstimulation. But he'll give like a little bite. And sometimes he'll, he also likes to give little licks. And even after he gives me a little bite, he will, he'll push his head into my hand wanting even more attention. So I, I honestly feel with him, it is a sign of affection. Um, it <laughs> what are you doing? Um, he's starting to make biscuits, as we say, or he's starting he's starting to do some kneading, uh, which showing he's he is more comfortable. Um, whenever I open the door to come into the room, he's right at the door. So I don't know if he's spending a lot of his time now by the door or if he can hear me coming up the stairs and is now waiting for me at the door. Um, <laughs> he is really a very, he is an affectionate boy. Um, sorry about my other foster making so much noise. Jimmy loves to antagonize him and will keep going by by him to set him off. He is quite a brat. Um, but as you can see now, he is definitely feeling more at ease. Um, he'll even show me his belly. He's rolled onto his back. He does not, though, like having his stomach touched. I did try touching it the other day, and he grabbed hold of my hand and gave me a little bite, but it was still very, very gentle compared to what it could have been. He was just letting me know that's an you know, off-limit zone. <laughs> um, but uh, he is constantly rubbing against my legs. Um, he, I can walk right by him while he's laying down, and he won't move. He, uh, he expects, you know, me to move out of his way. Um, you know, so typical cat. <laughs> um, he is more uncomfortable, actually, the closer he is, the, the higher up he is. So if he's up on the vanity where one of the beds are um, and he's in it, which is actually right here. So as you can see, it's right by the door. And so if I walk in and he's in the bed, he will give me a hiss and he will run away to the floor. So we, so we have that to work on. Um, so he's still not comfortable with that. And I'm sorry for all the, the bits and pieces you might see on the floor. I haven't 
clean the bathroom, which I'll be doing today for him yet. He is a messy eater. Um, so there's little pieces of food all over the place. Um, but he, so yeah, so we need to work on his feeling more comfortable with him um, at a higher level. Uh, he's fine while he's on the floor. Like I said, I can walk by him even while he's laying down and he's completely comfortable with that. Um, I haven't tried to pick him up yet. Uh, he, I don't feel he's ready for that. Um, so I'm just doing everything at his speed. I'm just letting him tell me what he's ready for. Um, he will definitely be um, I think ready for a home, you know, maybe within a few months. Um, I have no timetable for him, whatever it takes, however long it takes. I have no expectations and his new family is going to have to be the same way. Um, whoever adopts him is basically going to be starting over with him. Um, you know, it'll be best if they have him in a small room like a bathroom. I feel that um, the smallness of the room it definitely helps. He can't be put into a large room because then he'll have places that he feels he can stay away from, you know, people. And it won't force him to, you know, finally get over his fear. Um, and being in a bathroom or in any type of small room you know, with a window um, where people are going to come in and out. He can't just be left alone. He needs basically kind of tough love um, to face his fear and have them come in and out and do whatever. And um, if they have a cat uh, who is very, very friendly with, with other cats and that also very loving with people so he can see it. Um, I feel that, you know, Jimmy helped him come out of his show. Um, now that he has, I know I'm actually leaving Jimmy out of the bathroom so I just spend time alone with him and he no longer needs another cat to feel comfortable with me. He's now, you know, fine with me um, to a point. Um, you know, like I said, I still haven't picked him up because I honestly don't feel he's ready for that yet. Um, he may never. He might be, you know, there are some cats that honestly do not like to be picked up. Um, like I said, I can touch him from, you know, head, neck, back, um, butt, tail. I've touched his, you know, his front paws. Um, he's fine with that. He does not like having his stomach touched, which again, a lot of cats don't because that's their most vulnerable spot. Um, and so there's very few, I mean, my cats tap and don't mind it. Um, in fact, Jimmy will even roll over on his back for a belly rub. Uh, that's actually, uh, the exception. Most cats do not like having their bellies touched. Um, but I think he will make someone a great companion because he really does enjoy being with people. Um, even if it's just, you know, laying near you. Um, at this point, he's definitely not a lap cat, but he may become a lap cat as he gets older. Uh, when I first uh, fostered Jimmy and then eventually adopted him, um, he was not a lap cat. He wanted no part of it. And over the years, he became one. In fact, to the point where everywhere I go, he follows me. And um, a lot of the boys tend to become little mama's boys <laughs> as they get older. Uh, and he may become like that. He may not. Um, but he definitely enjoys human companionship. He, he definitely loves being loved on. Um, He's not really into it so much just because before I, I started filming this, we already had a little session, and he but he was all over me, laying on my feet, laying on his side. He was actually rolling over and exposing his belly, which is actually a huge thing for a cat to do. For a cat to show their stomach like that actually tells me that, you know, I trust you, um, you know, that you're not going to hurt me. Um, and so that's actually a, really a significant thing uh, for him to have done. Um, you know, but he still has barriers up. You know, he's still not completely at ease. 
Um, but I, again, I think that will come with time, um, will come with, you know, patience. And, you know, he needs to relearn that, you know, people can be trusted, that people are a good thing. And, uh, you know, he's relearning that again. And so, yeah, I would love to see him go to a new home with someone that is going to have basically zero expectations. They really, and that's, you know, it sounds like it's no big deal, but it's really a difficult thing. Because people do expect, you know, a cat to eventually bond with them and, and all that. And, um, but they have to really understand that, you know, you know, most likely he will bond with you, but it's going to take time. And so they really have to have zero expectations and no timetable. It's going to take what it takes for, you know, however long. And um, I think that they will definitely be rewarded with an incredible companion. He's very sweet. Uh, he definitely needs to go to a, a cat savvy home as he does like to give little bites, but, um, hey, sweetie, come here, um, here we go, oh, yeah, um, but, you know, when he does do it, I just leave my hand there, um, I don't pull away, I, <laughs> I used to have ferrets that used to do the little lick, lick, chomp thing, and they would literally hold on, and you actually had to open their jaws, <laughs> <laughs> to remove your finger from their mouth. So uh, I've learned not to pull away. And he's not, he doesn't actually bite that hard. Um, I mean, definitely. I mean, he doesn't even leave an, an imprint. And, um, but it's, with him, it, it is a sign of affection. Um, and so someone just can't be fearful of, of him doing that um, you know just basically I just leave my hand I let him do it and you know and then he'll actually put you know shove his his head into my my under my hand for more um, so he is really a, a great great boy I absolutely love him he's just so so sweet um, I haven't really, I haven't heard, I don't think any purring from him yet. He actually now, it has started giving me little meows. When I first come in, he'll give me these very, very soft meows as a greeting. Um, so we've definitely been having, you know, progress, you know, with him. A oh, sweetheart. Let's see those beautiful eyes. Yes, he has those beautiful, beautiful eyes. Oh. And he does a lot of the blinking, what we call eye kisses. And so he does that a lot now, too. So I'm in all the different areas that we see with a cat, I'm definitely seeing improvements in. Um, and um, so that's about it. It's been a while since I've done an update, so I've been wanting to do it. And I think he's probably ready for a little nap now, huh? <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Kisses. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. I don't know how anyone will be able to resist that face. He is just so sweet. Well, I guess that's it for now. And if there's any other major updates, I will be posting. And I hope everyone has a great 4th of July. Keep your kids safe, both your two and four legged and away from the fireworks. This is a tough day for our fur kids with uh, all the booming sounds. They get very stressed. So might wanna keep the windows closed when they start. And um, have a happy and healthy 4th of July, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>